Hello YouTube. Welcome to a Whittle Talk. I haven't done one in a while. So I thought maybe I would do one. I, something that, that has been um, happening since I, I started this uh, Woodsman's Concept grind. I've been getting a few, not many, but a few comments from people that uh, are saying that they prefer the traditional style knives. And uh, I, that's alright. I mean, I expected that. Um... Some people just don't want to change from what they're using. I mean, they would just prefer to stay with what they're using. And, and that's all right. I mean, I've said uh, in other videos that gear is personal and we got to use what we, we prefer or would um, best fits us. So, I, that's all right. But I, I, I wonder sometimes if we don't get stuck in a rut and we're just reluctant to change or try new things. And I think that, that that's not a healthy healthy way of looking at things. I think we should uh, always be exploring and, and trying new and, and different uh, designs and new and different uh, ideas. And, and just because you don't like a shape, uh, or you think that a grind is not beneficial to you, uh, I mean, that's no reason to try it. And I'm not saying go out and buy a custom knife that is going to cost you several hundred dollars just to try something new. That's that's probably not a good thing to do, or at least not a, a smart thing to do. But um, And here I am trying to sell knives, but, I mean, it's just common sense. You wouldn't want to... If you look at a design and you say, hey, that's that's not for me, then I wouldn't encourage you to go out and, and spend a lot of money on, on just to try it out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, why don't we keep an open mind? Um, and for some people, uh, this is this is something that, that uh, they like, enjoy doing, especially me. I enjoy exploring different different designs and, and different... Um, knife concepts and and all that because I mean I don't know maybe maybe it's a pioneering spirit I don't know it's uh, it's kind of in my bones let's see what's over that next mountain you know so to speak but um, anyway I just uh, I'll just say keep an open mind um, because I'm going to be honest with you folks, the more I use this design, the more it just, it just fits how I use a knife. Um, I mean, it, 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 it accomplishes all the tasks that, that I've thrown at it. And um, I mean, there's still others out there testing it to see if it's viable for them. But um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't um, understand why someone wouldn't want to try new things. If that would have been the case, if we'd always been that way as a species, then we'd still be living in caves using rocks. <laughs> or maybe we wouldn't be using rocks. Maybe we would just be tearing our meat apart. I don't know. Living off of carrion. Uh, but anyway, um, I just, I just encourage everybody to have an open mind, um, look at new ideas, look at uh, new uh, concepts, and I mean, there's really no new knife design, so to speak. I mean, there's always knives that's going to remind you of another knife. It's just a given because they're, I mean, after thousands of years, there's just no other knife concept that you can think of that's not similar to something else. I mean, it's just impossible. I mean, they all have blades, they all cut. So uh, they always have a handle. So I think um, the last true innovation may have been the folding knife. I'm not sure. I mean, there's, there's a little debate on all of that. So, But if we can take the best attributes from... A couple of, or maybe three different knives and combine them in a different way then maybe that's a more beneficial knife for your lifestyle and that's the only thing I'm looking for 
is to try to, to design a knife that fits a certain lifestyle. And I think the Woodsman's design is a grind that is, is, is a good wood carver. It's a good meat processor. Um, it's, um, and many have said that uh, they don't understand the, the reasoning behind the, the dual the dual grinds. I mean, why not just go ahead and carry a Scandi all the way through? Well, there's some, some benefits to a Scandi and there's some weaknesses to a Scandi. When you start trying to slice meat and things like that, then a lot of times you'll get hung up on the apex because it's so thick where the, uh, the Scandi is. So I prefer a, a, a saber grind or a full flat actually in processing meat and, and dense material like onions or carrots or things like that. So I mean, so that would be beneficial in, as a, a, a more of a, a trapper or hunter or something like that and still have a Scandi next to the handle for a few camp chores. Because let's face it, I mean, a Scandi carving wood is just, they're phenomenal. I mean, that, that's what they excel at. So why not use that? And... Um, make our camp life a little bit easier. Can you get by with just a, a saber grind or a full flat on camp chores? Yeah, of course you can. Grandpa did it for, for a long time. Probably our dads too. But uh, if we can improve on it, why not do that? And just because that's not what Grandpa did, then that's no reason that that's something that, that we have to avoid ourselves. We should be willing to to explore and try new things is what I'm saying. And I'm just working on another notch here for my tri-stick. Just, uh, just a few thoughts. I, I got some knives in the oven and it's hot in here. I have to turn the fan off in order to do a video because you can't hear. I'll leave the fan on. So, but anyway, just a few thoughts. I think we should all continue to innovate and try to improve our, our lives however we can. If that be through gear or or skill or whatever that may be then I think we should continue to do that not get in a rut not limit ourselves on our abilities but that's just my opinion okay so until the next one you guys explore get out in the backyard go see what's over that next mountain Light a fire a different way. I mean, just kind of get out of the rut a little bit. Challenge yourself. Carry a different sleep system. Do things just a little bit different. Because who knows? When it counts, you may not have that ideal situation. You may not have that favorite knife on your hip. You may have to borrow somebody else's knife. Get comfortable with as many different things and many different philosophies and, and, and skill levels as you can. Because old Murphy, he has a way of throwing things out at you that you least expect it. <laughs> And try those new things, because what you had yesterday that was just the bomb, that was the best thing ever invented, may not be the case tomorrow, because there may be something else that fits your lifestyle a little bit better and makes your life a little bit easier. So keep an open mind. Until the next one, you guys be safe. Whatever your adventure is, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. And uh, we'll catch you again soon.